The Nintendo eShop has given me tons of great games that I love for that console. Everything from Hades to Stardew Valley has been bought there, and it has been a marvelous experience for me to play great games at an affordable price. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe down below. But now let's take a look at five more games that you can score for the Nintendo Switch for under $25. It's hard to not appreciate the charm of Video Kid 80s Edition, which is just a Paperboy clone, but there's something more at play here. Like, this game is 100% a love letter to the 1980s in both terms of pop culture and video games of the time. So yeah, I mean, you basically, you're a kid that's delivering VHS tapes. That, that's it. And you, you hurl them all over your town, throwing them through windows, into mailboxes, and avoiding hazards. Now, the hazards in the game aren't your traditional Paperboy hazards. You're not going to get chased by a dog, although that, that will happen. You're not going to have to worry about getting run over by a car. That, that'll, that'll happen too, obviously. But it's stuff like, you know, making sure that Inspector Gadget doesn't step on you as you're going through or knocking all the fraggles off the bench as they sing, Dance your cares away! And don't be afraid to fall in the sewer, because that's where the Ninja Turtles keep all the money, all the pizza, and their giant pet crocodile. Video Kid is a fantastic game. At $5, you can't really beat it. It's quick pick up and play and something you can put down just as quickly. I love Video Kid, definitely worth picking up. I know the Switch gets crapped on a lot for having a lot of remasters on it, but boy howdy do I love it when something comes out of left field like this one here. Robotech the Macross Saga HD Edition is a remaster of the Game Boy Advance game. And it's just so much fun. So they basically tore the entire GBA game down and built it back up. You've got new high resolution backgrounds, full 3D models, new lighting and enhanced effects. Everything has been redone, everything has been touched up and everything has been refined. And the best part about this game is it's not just a horizontal shmup. Oh no, no, you're not just flying around in a plane blasting guys. No, you can transform into a robot and drop to the ground and aim all over the place. You can turn into kind of like a cross robot plane thing. I am not familiar with, with Macross at all. I, I don't really know, but yeah, it's great. And it's hard as hell, like you would expect a nice side-scrolling shmup to be. This game's fantastic. $10 and an absolute steal of a wonderful remastered GBA classic, and tons of unlockables in this game too, so don't overlook this one. Equal Parts puzzle platformer and tower defense game Aegis Defenders is one of the most unique and beautiful games that I have played on the Switch. This is one that just kind of floated across my purview recently. My friend Corey told me about it when we were talking about, you know, why we like certain tower defense games, but not others. And he mentioned this one and he said I should check it out. And boy, howdy, am I glad I did. You play as a team of ruin hunters and you, you start off as a grandfather and granddaughter team. And your goal is to find treasure and make your way across this world and avoid the pitfalls and the hazards and the dangers of the area. And it's just beautifully rendered, absolutely fantastic to play and just smartly designed. As you progress through the game, you develop more skills and you're able to purchase more weapons and defense mechanisms at the shop that allow you to defend the treasure you're hunting in the tower defense portion of the game. But on the way there, you have to explore and you have to solve puzzles in order to get to the treasure. It's a really unique blend of gameplay and something that I'm having an absolute metric ton of fun playing. Aegis Defenders is only 20 bucks, so it's kind of a steal, but if you're on the fence about this type of game at all, download the demo and be amazed. So I was sold on Tanuki Justice when I saw it in the eShop. Like, I saw the box art and I was like, oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Give me ass-kicking Ninja Raccoon. I'm definitely there. But boy, how does this game sneak up on you? So if if you've ever played games like Ninja Kid or the original Mega Man on the NES, this is something that you need to prepare yourself for because that's the level of difficulty you're going to have in this game. The look is gorgeous. Like, it is a classic 8-bit side-scrolling action game. But they kind of sneak in the fact that it's also a bullet hell. Like, there's kinds of all kinds of stuff going on on screen at the same time. So you need to make sure that where you're jumping is where you're going to go. Because guess what? One hit and you're D.E.D. It's a fun game. Like, it's really difficult, but it's so brilliantly designed. It's just wonderful. You can actually play this in single player or two player, like all good classic side-scrolling platformers were. And one of the things I also really like about this game are the gigantic boss sprites that you're going to end up fighting. And this is where the game really gets difficult. Like, you can get through the levels to that point, but the boss fights are just epic and fantastic. $15 out the door, Tanuki Justice is a wonderful game. I mean, there's nothing better than robot ninjas, right? I mean, like, raccoon ninjas come close, and that's, you know, we've already talked about them on this video, but robot ninjas are awesome. And when you play a robot ninja named Shadow, <laughs> yeah. This is Cyber Shadow. This is a game that was published by Yacht Club Games and developed by Mechanical Head Studios. And basically, you play a Shadow, who is the lone survivor of his ninja clan, and it is up to you to wake up 
and search the ruins of the world to take out the evil Dr. Progen and his synthetic army. It's really a fantastic game. As you play, you're going to rescue different members of your clan, and as you do, you're going to gain different skills that they know and they're able to teach you, or give you different weapons that you can use. Like any good ninja, you get shurikens, you get kunai, you get a double jump, all kinds of cool stuff. And then you get magic spells. You can summon fire. All it's Look, this is a love letter to Ninja Gaiden, both in terms of visuals and a fantastic, fantastic soundtrack. This can be yours for $20, and if you have the Shovel Knight amiibo, make sure you scan them in-game for an extra surprise. There you have it guys, five great games that you can score for the Nintendo Switch for under $25. In particular this month, I am a sucker for all things Cyber Shadow, but then again, I love Yacht Club games. They gave me Shovel Knight, and I cannot deny how fantastic a development team they are. I also really love Aegis Defenders as a really creative take on tower defense, and don't overlook Video Kid 80s Edition. It's a take on Paperboy that I had not anticipated, and as an 80s kid myself, I love all the Easter eggs in the game. Before I get out of here, guys, I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite game is from this month's selection, and let me know if there's any games in particular that I should be checking out. Yes, I know you guys want me to play Hollow Knight. I have it. It is on the list. There's just like 50 games ahead of it. I will get to it eventually, I promise. I've tried it before. It didn't click for me, but I will give it a try again. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Let me know you like the content I'm creating for you, and I can keep making stuff like this so you guys will keep coming back and watching. And if you're new to the channel and you're one of the 70% of people that have not done so, please be sure to subscribe down below, and while you're there, ring the notification bell so you can stay up to date with everything I got going on. Till next time, guys, I have been Jay. I really appreciate you guys being here and spending a little bit of time with me as we look at five great eShop games that you can score for under $25. Until next time, be sure to play more games, stay square, and take care. I'll talk to you soon.